Emiliano Raul Salataf Errol, Spanish pronunciation, M A, modifier letter vertical line, Lano, modifier letter vertical line, Salara, the 31st of October 1990, the 21st of January 2019. Confirmed dead the 7th of February 2019 was an Argentine professional footballer who played as a forward. After playing youth football in Argentina and following a short spell in Portugal's regional leagues, Sal began his professional career in France with Bordeaux, making his professional debut in February 2012. After struggling to break into the first team, he was loaned out to champion that national side Orleans and Ligue 2 side New York in consecutive seasons. He enjoyed prolific spells with both clubs, scoring 39 goals between them, before returning to Bordeaux. After initially being promised an increased role after his successful loans, Salah fell out of favor again, and instead, joined fellow Ligue 1 side Khan on loan. In 2015, he signed for Nantes on a permanent basis. With Nantes, he made more than 100 appearances in Ligue 1, and achieved a successful goal-scoring record, finishing as the club's top goalscorer for three consecutive seasons. His form prompted a move to Cardiff City in January 2019, for a club record fee of £15 million, £18 million. Euros. Sal died in a plane crash off Alderney on the 21st of January 2019. He was a passenger aboard a Piper Malibu light aircraft flying from Nantes to Cardiff. An initial three-day search covered 1,700 square miles, 4,400 km2 across the English Channel. Two subsequent private searches were launched resulting in the discovery of the wreckage on the 3rd of February. Salah's body was recovered four days later. Early life and personal life Salah was born in the town of Ciululu, Santa Fe Province, Argentina, to Horatio Salah and Mercedes Tafferl. His father worked as a truck driver. The family later moved to Progreso. He held an Italian passport. He had a brother, Dario and a sister, Romina. He was a fan of Independiente and, while growing up, he studied footage of his favorite footballer, Gabriel Batistuta. Sal's father, Horatio, died of a heart attack on the 26th of April 2019, three months after his son's death. Professional Career Early career Salah began playing football for San Martin de Progreso, where he remained until he was 15 years old. He then moved to San Francisco, Cordoba to play at football school Proyecto Creaser after being spotted by a scout. The club was directly affiliated with Spanish club RCD Mallorca and French side FC Girondins de Bordeaux, scouting local players in the area. After joining the club, he moved into a boarding house with other players from the club's youth system. He played six preferente matches for Spanish club CD Soledad B between October 2007 and February 2008.In 2009, while living in Granada, Spain, he was recommended to Portuguese district side FC Credo by a fellow Argentinian footballer who played there and joined the Portuguese team. Sal played one official match for Credo scoring twice, but suddenly decided to leave the club and return to Argentina, saying that his girlfriend was in trouble in his homeland. Guirondins de Bordeaux at the age of 20, during the 2010-11 season, Sala moved to Europe to sign for Bordeaux, the French partner club from Proyecto Creaser. After arriving in France, Sala briefly lived with the club's youth coach Marcelo Verda and his son, Salah's teammate, Valentin Vida, who were from the same region of Argentina. Having progressed through the club's reserve team, Salah grew frustrated with his lack of first team playing time, and his agent offered him to several Italian clubs, including Sorrento, but this was rejected in each case. 
On the 8th of February 2012, Salah made his Bordeaux senior competitive debut in the 2011-12 Coupe de France round of 16-3-1 away defeat against Olympique Lyonnais, coming on as a substitute in the 105th minute for Yossi E. Circumflex. Unable to establish himself in the first team, Bordeaux hoped to loan Salah out in order to gain experience and he was expected to sign for a team in Spain before his agent rejected the move, wanting Salah to remain in France. He instead joined champion at national side US Orleans on loan after being spotted by manager Oliver Frapoli a year previously. Frapoli described Salah as the best player on the team, without question, as he went on to score 19 goals for the club in 37 appearances. He helped the club to an 8th place finish in the champion at national. On the 2nd of July 2013, Salah agreed a deal to join Ligue 2 club Chamonix Niortes on loan for the entire 2013-14 season. He enjoyed a steady return through the first half of the season before finding form in March, scoring 11 goals in his final 12 appearances including scoring his first career hat-trick in a 4-2 victory over Stade Lavalois. He finished the season with 20 goals in all competitions, with his total of 18 league goals setting a new club record for goals in a single season. At the start of the 2014 15 season, Salah was brought into the first team squad with Bordeaux by manager Willy Sannel and was rewarded with a two year extension to his contract. He scored his first senior goal for the club after converting a penalty during a 4 1 defeat to Monaco. However, it proved to be his only goal in 11 appearances, and he was loaned to SM Khan, another Ligue 1 club, for the second half of the 2014-15 season as a replacement for Mathieu Duhamel. Khan had previously tried to sign Salah at the start of the season but had been rejected by Bordeaux. He made his debut for Khan on 1 February 2015 in a 1-0 victory over St. Etienne. He scored his first goal for the club in his third appearance, during a 2-2 draw with Paris Saint-Germain two weeks later, and scored a brace against RC Lens in his following match. He scored five goals for Khan during his loan spell before returning to Bordeaux. Nantes on 20 July 2015, Salah joined Ligue 1 club Nantes on a five-year contract with Nantes paying a reported transfer fee of €1 million Euros to Bordeaux. He made his debut for Nantes on the opening day of the 2015-16 season, during a 1-0 victory over Guingamp, and scored his first goal for the club on 5 December 2015 in a 1-1 draw with Adelcio. In January 2016, Nantes rejected a bid of £3 million from Wolverhampton Wanderers for Salah. In his first season, despite scoring only six times, he finished the year as the club's top goalscorer. During his second season, Salah scored 12 league goals for Nantes, the highest scoring player in a single season for the club since Olivier Monterubio in 2001. He equaled his tally again in the 2017 18 season finishing as known top scorer for the third consecutive season since his arrival at the club. At the start of the 2018-19 season, Salah fell out of favor under a new manager Miguel Cardoso who preferred Khalifa Koulibaly as the club's first choice striker. Turkish side Galatasaray made a late bid to sign Salah on the last day of the summer transfer window but the move later collapsed. Salah twice made goal-scoring appearances as a substitute and was restored to the starting line up under Cardoso before the manager was sacked in October 2018. Vahid Halilhazik was appointed as the club's new manager and in his first match in charge, on 20 October 2018, Salah scored a hat-trick in a 4-0 Ligue 1 home win over Toulouse. He thus became the first FC Nantes player to score three goals in a Ligue 1 match since Mamadou Dilo did so against FC Socho Montbilliard in February 2006. At the end of October, he was voted Ligue 1 Player of the Month having scored four goals in three matches during the month. Salah's good form saw him as the joint highest goalscorer in Ligue 1 at the start of his summer, his tally of 12 goals tied with Paris Saint-Germain's Kylian Bapp. On 5 December, Salah scored his last goal for the club in a 3-2 Ligue 1 home victory over Olympique de Marseille. 
on the 16th of January 2019, he played his final match for the club in a 1-0 Ligue 1 away defeat against Nimes Olympique. Cardiff City on the 19th of January 2019, Salah joined Premier League side Cardiff City on a three and a half year deal for a club record transfer fee, reported to be £15 million. The transfer beat the previous club record of £11 million paid for Gary Metal in 2013. As part of a sell on clause, 50% of the transfer fee was due to his first professional club, Bordeaux. Salah rejected a late bid from a club in the Chinese Super League to join Cardiff, despite being offered a higher transfer fee and salary, due to his desire to play in the Premier League. Following Salah's death, Nantes demanded the transfer fee from Cardiff. In September 2019, FIFA ruled in Nantes' favour and ordered Cardiff to pay a first instalment of €6 million, Euros, £5.3 million, pounds, and the remainder the following January. In December 2019, Cardiff City launched an appeal against FIFA's decision to the Court of Arbitration for Sport. Disappearance and Death After completing his medical at Cardiff, Salah returned to Nantes on Saturday, the 19th of January, on a plane arranged by football agent Mark McKay. His intention was to return to Cardiff on Monday, the 21st of January, in order to attend his first training session with his new club the following morning. Salah had been invited to attend Cardiff's match against Newcastle United by manager Neil Warnock, but he returned to France to say goodbye to his non-teammates and collect personal belongings. On the 21st of January, the Piper Malibu aircraft, which was flying Salah from Nantes to Cardiff, disappeared off Alderney. The same aircraft and pilot had flown Salah to Nantes two days earlier. On the 23rd of January, Channel Islands Air Search reported that there was no hope of finding any survivors in the water. An audio message, allegedly sent from the plane by Salah to his friends via WhatsApp, was released by Argentine media outlet OL. The audio message translates as follows, Hello, my brothers, how are you, boy, I'm tired. I was here and not taking care of things, 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 and it never stops, it never stops, it never stops. Anyway guys, I'm up in this plane that feels like it's falling to pieces, and I'm going to Cardiff. It's crazy, we start tomorrow. Training in the afternoon, guys, in my new team, let's see what happens. So, how's it going with you guys, all good? If in an hour and a half you have no news from me, I don't know if they are going to send someone to look for me because they cannot find me, but you will know, man, I'm scared. Guernsey police initially searched for three days about 1,700 square miles. 4,400 km2 across the English Channel. At 15.15 GMT on the 24th of January 2019, after a very thorough and extensive search including 80 hours of combined searching undertaken by three planes, five helicopters and two lifeboats, the police announced that they had called off the search for the aircraft or any survivors. The decision led to calls worldwide for the search to continue including numerous other footballers, among them fellow Argentine players Lionel Messi, Gonzalo Higuain, Sergio Aguero and former player Diego Maradona. The president of Argentina, Mauricio Macri, stated his intention to request the British and French governments to resume the search. An online petition also attracted over 65,000 signatures and Salah's family later announced their decision to fund a private search. Over £280,000 was raised for this search on GoFundMe started by Sports Cover, a sports agency that represented Salah. The funds enabled the private search to commence on the 26th of January, with the launch of two boats, led by marine scientist David Mearns. On the 28th of January, plans were announced for an underwater search to begin, within a week dependent on weather conditions, using an unmanned remotely operated underwater vehicle, ROV, to search an area of seabed north of Herd's Deep. 
On the 29th of January, Cardiff City included Salah on the team sheet for their game against Arsenal, with a daffodil next to his name in place of a squad number. On the 30th of January, the Air Accidents Investigation Branch, AAIB, reported that they had found two seat cushions washed up on a French beach, which were believed to be from the missing aircraft. On the 3rd of February, another underwater search for the aircraft began, using the AAIB's GeoOcean 3 vessel and a privately funded vessel, which were conducting sonar surveys of the seabed. The planned search lasting three days, would cover an area of 4 square nautical miles, 14 km2, 5.3 square mi, about 24 nautical miles, 44 km, 28 miles north of Guernsey, at approximately 2111 GMT, six hours after the new search began. Wreckage from the aircraft was found at a depth of 63 meters, 207 feet. On the 4th of February, Investigators stated that there was one body visible inside the wreckage. On the 7th of February, the body was recovered from the wreckage and taken to the Isle of Portland to be passed to the Dorset coroner. Later that day, Dorset police identified the body as Salas by means of fingerprint evidence. Non subsequently retired his former number 9 jersey. On the 11th of February, the results of a post mortem reported that Zella had died of head and trunk injuries. Zella's body was taken back to Argentina on the 15th of February 2019 and his funeral was held in his hometown of Progreso the following day. On the 25th of February 2019, a special bulletin was issued by the AAIB giving a radar track of final section of flight including photographs of the wreckage on the seabed. It examined, in some detail, the regulatory framework for the accident flight. On the 28th of February, ex-football agent Willie McKay, who had arranged the flight, said that Salah had been abandoned by Cardiff City and was left to arrange his own travel. McKay's son Mark was non acting agent in the deal for Salah. The football club said they strongly reject the claim they neglected to provide Zella with travel arrangements. On the 29th of April, two people were arrested after a photograph purporting to show the dead body of Emiliano Zella during a post MORTEM was posted on Twitter. On the 19th of June 2019, Dorset police announced that they had arrested a man on suspicion of manslaughter by an unlawful act in respect of the death of Salah. His identity was not made public, but several newspapers identified the man as pilot David Henderson, who arranged the flight and had originally intended to fly the plane. On the 11th of March 2020, it was reported that no further action would be taken against the man. On the 14th of August, it was reported that toxicology tests on Salah's body showed high levels of exposure to carbon monoxide, and the AAIB considered it was likely that the pilot would also have been exposed to the gas, potentially leading to drowsiness or unconsciousness. Style of play Salah stated that he modeled his style on his idol, former Argentine international forward Gabriel Batistuta. BBC Sport compared Salah to Jamie Vardy, describing him as a player who likes wide spaces and being part of a team that has a strong counter-attacking style. A large and powerful striker, he was also recognized for his ability to hold the ball up and was described as possessing reasonable pace. He also drew praise in the media for his work rate, tenacity, eye for goal, and finishing ability. Career Statistics Club Honors Individual Non-Team of the Decade, 2010-2019 References External links Emiliano Salara, French League Stats at LFP, also available in French Emiliano Salara at Fora de Hogo.